In this video, we will review the process of transferring um, an, an interesting image of some eyes of a husky, husky dog superimposed on the sands of the beach. So, start with, we'll open up our file here with Edit with GIMP. Now, we've got our eyes here. Let's also open up our background of the beach. And so, now, these are our two images. Let's create a new file here now that for now will be the width and height of the beach background. So we'll copy paste our, our beach image into that. Good, and we'll select, make sure that floating layer is its own new layer. Now, as you can see up here, um, a background that is 4,000 pixels wide by about 3,000 uh, pixels high is a little bit too much for the image of, the, of these husky eyes. So, first thing we'll need to do is get to the image and scale image here. And I think if we go by percentages, it should line up just right if we take it down to 12.5%, one one-eighth. Great, now make sure it's at 100% magnification. Alrighty then, that's, that, that's, half, that's half of our job here. Now, the other thing we want, we want to work with here is um, copy husky eyes over here. And now we've got this, we've, we've got this happening. We've got our, our beach background layer here. Let's make a new layer that's just transparency below. And then we'll copy the husky over and we'll, we'll make that be on its own layer. Now to make sure that we take care of everything uh, with this eye icon here, we'll make the beach invisible so not that we're now just looking at the, at the husky eyes. Now, as you can see, you've got a little bit of insulation around the eyes themselves, and so keeping that in mind, um, you should be in pretty good shape if you want to use the color select tool. So, although, now that, now that I'm looking at this, it's, it looks like there's some colors in common in between the, what, the, these, the, the blue of these eyes and the white of the fur, so maybe the magic wand tool would be better, which is different from the color tool in that it selects pixels that are adjacent that are similar shades instead of all the ones in the picture that are a similar shade. So we, we want the transition to be smooth also, so I think we'll check the feather edges box here. Now let's turn up our threshold one moment. Okay, now that, that looks like a pretty clean cut. Let's select some more. Okay, more has been selected. Let's see how that, how that goes. Alrighty, that's one part of it. Let's select some more over here. And here. 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 Alrighty. And then the rest of it you can take care of manually. So here we go. It was a pretty clean cut there. Take care of some more stray pixels. Okay, now those those look look evenly placed. Now, let's make our beach visible again here with these images. Alright, and now we can move these into a place that is the sands of the beach. And, ah, looks like we've still got some stray pixels there that we can go ahead and select with the magic wand tool. Um, let's see. Select, delete. Let's zoom back in there. Enlarge. 
Maybe this is a job for the magic wand tool now. Let's see. Or maybe something more clean, like the something cleaner, like the eraser. Okay, we'll take care of that now. Good. That's in good shape. Anything else that requires our attention? Maybe some of these pixels. And this jagged area over here would probably be a good idea to smooth out. Hmm. Okay, so now those are there. Of course, these do look a bit out of place. Luckily, GIMP has some features here for blending layers together that work quite well in my experience. And so, we'll, we'll drag this transparency layer to the bottom now, just so it doesn't get in the way. Eh, or maybe we'll drag the background layer above it. Mm, how about this? Let's delete it. That sounds fine. Now, we've got our pasted layer here, and so with mode now, we've got a few different ways to make the image blend. Not quite, not quite. Possibly, not quite. Somewhat. Mm. Grain merge seems to work the best here. So from here, you can make any adjustments you need. And then from here, you would of course export your file as something like. And then. There you go. You all done? I think so. And then cool. we'll take a look at. I've got to actually take, I've actually got to take that stupid jump drive down to the water right now. Okay. Alright. Hey. There we go then. Oh, oh you there?